Okay, so this video is going to be on common and natural log. Okay, now what basically this is, is it's two um, special kinds of bases that we're going to use, I guess, with log logarithms. Um, and it's what's generally used with, with in, in math, so it's, it's really important to understand. Um, we're not going to get too much into natural log. If you're more interested in that, though, ask me because we talk about it in class. But you're going you're to know more and more about um, the natural logarithm in, uh, in calculus. It takes a lot to, uh, to understand it, a lot more time than we have. So, um, but here's kind of a brief intro on what a common and natural log is. Okay, so common log, it, you might see a problem that says like log of, a, log of x, but there's no base. Usually it's like log base 2 of x or something like that. There's always a little number here, but if you ever see it where there's no number, you, you probably saw it in some of my examples even. It's just assumed to be 10. Okay, this is, this is the common log right here. Okay, so common log just has a base of 10. Common log, base of 10. So if you ever see like where it says log of 10, you know, I just picked a really easy example. It's the same thing as log base 10 of 10, and then you would just say that it's equal to 1. Right, because 10 to the first power is 10. Okay, now if it was a log of 100, well, you know that 10 squared is 100, so then this would be 2. Okay, so you can kind of get the idea here. If you want to put the 10 in there, you can, but it's kind of like writing 1x. It's kind of just redundant. It's just assumed if it's blank here, then it's a power of 10. Okay, so that's common log. <clears throat> Natural log over here, it looks, it looks like ln. This is, this is pronounced ln of x. So if you're going to talk about it in math, just so if you're using the right language, you're going, to want to, you're going to want to say ln of x to kind of say this thing right here. That's important. Okay, ln of x. I kind of wrote it phonetically here, so it's, it's easier to understand. <clears throat> now basically what this means, it's a special base. All right, it's a super special base actually. It's my favorite constant. It's this e right here. Okay, and e is about equal to 2.71828, I don't know, it goes forever, just like pi, okay? It's also called Euler's number, so if you ever hear about that, that's what that E is. You've probably seen it on your calculator um, as, as a lowercase e. There, there is that, that capital E, but that's for something different. Lowercase e is, 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 is this right here. This is, this is the, the natural log, the natural base, if you will. Um, if you ever want to see the value of it on a calculator, just write e to the one power and hit enter. And it'll, it'll, it'll show you this. <clears throat> so basically what it is, it's a, special, it's a special base. And what E is equal to, if you remember limits, it's the limit as, let's just say, n goes to infinity of this function, where it's 1 over n to the n power. And this is important when you're um, like continuously compounding interest on, on certain loans and such. And, and this is where E comes into more, more importance. Um, it's also the only uh, power function that actually the derivative of itself is itself. Um, but you're going to go over that more in calculus. But uh, yeah, it's a special number, and this is this is it. If you ever if you ever care to, to calculate it um, by using certain values, um, that's what e is. Um, so it's basically the log base e of x is equal to ln of x. Again, like I wrote right here. So it, you'll see problems that involve e to get rid of it. You're, you're going to need to know that um, you're going to need to use the ln uh, function. I mean, you could use the log base e if you want to. It's the same thing. Um, but this is what mathematicians usually use. So if you were doing like the ln of e, you should know that it's just 1. Right? To get you know, e to the 1 power, that's what it would be. So if you did ln of e squared, you know it would be 2, okay? Um, it's just basically the same thing as if you wrote ln, or log of e of e squared. You know the log of e and the e would cancel out, and you would just be left with the 2, okay? So you're going to see things that are, that are related to this. Don't be scared. Um, you'll learn more about it as you learn more and more about math. Um, but if you ever want to talk about e, let me know. It's my favorite constant, and this is just kind of uh, just a really brief uh, informational session about common and natural logs. So if you have any questions about this, let me know. I hope that helps.